Okay, so, Trials Rising. This is the latest game in Ubisoft's Trials franchise, and good lord did it do it for me. I'm a relative noob to the series and have only played a few hours of Trials Fusion prior to playing this game, and ooh, I loved it. For the uninitiated, the Trials series is focused on 2.5D platforming with the gimmick of maintaining your balance as you traverse through god knows what on a bike of your choosing. From the first race on, it started to be very clear that it would be much easier said than done. The controls are tight, but unforgiving. The degree of precision controls this platformer asks of you as soon as you boot it up sets a high bar for the pain you'll be constantly experiencing trying to master it. From the second you start the game, you're going to be challenged with just figuring out how not to flip your bike over as soon as you try to move. At least for me, with almost no experience to the series prior, I spent a good while just trying to figure out and understand the basic balance mechanics. I have to note though, the game makes failing still fun. Each track offers you a number of challenges that it tasks you with completing. Sometimes these challenges are to do a certain number of tricks, and sometimes it tasks you with beating the track in a certain time window. These were incredibly frustrating as I was still getting started and still getting my bearings, but before I knew it, I was using the challenges as a benchmark for increasingly bettering my skill in the game. Trials does an incredible job at teaching how to play it, mercilessly letting you lose over and over again. Although, doing the same challenge over and over again, only to fail every time, can get boring, the presentation kept me glued to each challenge. The visuals are incredible, and I can't wait to see what the fans will make once the full release comes out and player-made maps begin to sprawl up. Regardless of how scarce the number of maps is, I never really felt bored by them. In fact, between the single player career mode and the multiplayer mode, I found there was a lot of fun to be had with just a few maps available. Now the game has an Overwatch-esque loot box system that allows you to customize the look of your rider any way you want. As you go about completing challenges and beating races, you gain experience, and every time you level up, you unlock a loot box containing new gear. Oh. There's also a dab. All things considered, this game is a lot of fun, and I can't wait to have even more fun with it come release day. With it going for only $24.99, I can see myself getting quite a lot of value out of this game. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, if you like challenging platformers with a pretty high learning curve, buy it. Buy it now.